is back. Hit it. Ha. Sam Hit it. and ha. Oh God. Hit it. Ha. What's Hit up it. with you? Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Interested in promoting your brand, business, or talent on Hip Hop News Uncensored? Hit me up right now at advertise at hiphopun.com. That's advertise at hiphopun.com. Hit me ASAP. Very affordable rates. Now to our regularly scheduled program. Let's get All right, man. Tyrese is sounding off and exposing the music industry with this post that he did earlier today. Now, the movie star R&B singer, you know, is always someone who not only vocal, but is someone who shows by action through movies, speeches, and a lot of philanthropy work that he does in different communities not one of these guys who just talk so i think when tyree says something we're definitely an ep to listen to him well as we know man the 2021 mtv video music award popped off sunday night september the 12th and it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way once again and tyree's shared this message via his instagram and he put everything has become one gigantic antic award show social media and life feels like a gigantic antic I miss the days when popularity was actually based on talent, hit records, and hit movies. So I will sit back like most and continue to watch the shit show. And I guess all entertainment, right? LOL. Whatever it takes to go viral. So in a sense, pretty much saying that a lot of these people are doing whatever it takes to go viral. And you have to just kind of sit back. And you got to point your you know, your finger at not just one. You could talk a little Nas X, but you could talk a lot of other people. But obviously... He's talking about, in my opinion, Little Nas X and some of the people who wore some crazy outfits. You know, uh, it is not he's like he's talking about one isolated incident, obviously. But we know what we've seen. I mean, I didn't say it, but we've seen Instagram clips. We've seen, you know, whether he was on Facebook. All this stuff circles around the Internet. And you see it and, and it spreads. And you're like, what the heck is going on? We've seen Little Nas X pregnant. Supposedly, he comes out with a wig on, a dress. He has, you know, uh, in the background of the song he was doing with the homie, uh, forget the dude's name, but um, he had dancers, you know, um, in prison dancing all crazy. And, you know, I just think right now what Tyrese is saying is 100% accurate. You know, is Lil Nas X talented somewhat? I guess you got to be talented to get a hit and to, and to be relevant. But is he relevant for his music now or is he relevant for him kissing men? Doing a while to showing up pregnant, making out outlandish claims to kind of keep people talking about you. Now, you got to understand this whole Hollywood thing is based on popularity, who's the most popular. And that's one thing I found out with dealing with a lot of these celebrities. Now, a lot of them is cool down to earth, but a large majority of them is bougie, it's hell, you know, um, it's about fame, popularity, what you could do for me. You know, they and they, they want to all be a part of the in crowd. And, you know, if you ain't the pop, most popular person, they're not going to deal with you. There's a lot of clowns out here, people spinning on their head. You know, every time they come on Instagram or the camera, they're doing some monkey stuff, monkey play. They're acting like straight buffoons. And I guess it's okay to a certain extent when you let your comedians be a comedian. But when everybody wants to be a comedian, everybody wants to shuck and jive and buck dance and gallivant. All around, man, I think it just really, you know, gives the uh, culture a black eye. And then, like, all the antics that's going on, people doing all types of whatever it may be, kissing on whatever, doing this and that. And, again, I agree with him 100%. I could go on all night about how much I agree with Tyrese about this post that he wrote, man. It's sickening. Like, again, I grew up in an era where it was strictly based on talent. Like, it wasn't no social media like that. So, I guess, you know, but I can't see, you know, Biggie. You know, Jay-Z's and the Nas is all crazy on social media, you know, cussing people out and doing this and doing that. And, you know, just the, everybody, it was just, it was a level, you know, of privacy and a level, you know, of, of knowing like, all right, I see them for the music. I might see them in a magazine. That's it. They're not oversaturating me every day, showing me them cooking trying to sell me uh, weight loss, trying to, you know, uh, uh, pills, detox pills, trying to sell me, you know, waist trainers and, you know, people trying to uh, uh, 
get mad money for art for unsigned artists and sell them a dream. We ain't see a lot of that stuff, man. It was like, all right, you're here. You got to go this way. You got to be nice. You got to go and take your talent in front of people and perform on the spot. You know what I mean? So, again, it, it, what happened was with, with the Internet being as accessible and wide open, it opened up the doors for a lot of people. So it's kind of a gift and a curse. But it opened up the door for great but it also opened up the door for nonsense. The people that are nothing m about more than just gimmicks. They need gimmicks, gimmicks and gimmicks to keep themselves relevant. And again, they they feel like any publicity is good publicity. So if somebody's going in on, you know, little Nas X about this, he'll pop up in a comment section. But yeah, I hear that. But make sure I go check out my music. Because it's all about getting a dollar. It's all about keeping attention on them. They don't care about morality. They don't care about you know, um, how they're going to look for the next generation. They don't care about the children because if you cared about the children, you would not push this type of stuff on the children like we do. And then we could talk about gangster rap. Yeah, that's wrong. We could talk about the WAP stuff. Yeah, that's wrong. The push on the children. For adults, is cool. Adult entertainment, that's what you want to do. You want to go to a club and see men doing their thing. Go do that. But when you deliberately push it on the children that's sitting home eating popcorn and Twizzlers with their mommy, and they're sitting on the floor, and they want to hear little Nas X sing Old Town Roll. And next thing you know, it's something crazy going on in the background. It's subconsciously, you know, uh, um, programming us to be all crazy and messed up. I mean, wonder why, you know, no one, right, no one, you know, uh, uh, um, takes us seriously to a certain extent. We got clowns, buffoons, and we got people that are ruining our image, and we applaud that. And again, there's always a sector for that. But when everybody is doing the same thing, it's like, all right, who represents us that's serious? Who represents us that's not a scammer? Who represents us that's not some buffoon, somebody dancing, spinning on their head, putting on wigs and all types of crazy stuff, dresses to appease a certain crowd of people? So when it's time to sit down and have serious conversation, who is going to represent us? Not none of these cats. That's why we don't do none of that stuff. I mean, we pride ourselves on being 100% professional, practicing professionalism. Shooting it to you straight. Yeah, we joke around and laugh sometimes, but we ain't got time to be spinning in our head and doing the cartwheels and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's too much it's too much people that do that already. We need some serious leaders, serious men that's going to push forward, you know what I mean, the movement and, and really be, you know, strong role models and present strong role models to the children of the future. That's what we need more of. Forget the comedians. Forget the rappers. Forget the people, you know what I mean? that are going to sell us down the drain to keep on getting these millions and then flash it in your face and say, oh, look at me. You know what I mean? I got millions. Look what you got. You were broke. You broke and you talking to me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But I'm going to digress. I'm going to digress on this particular uh, thing right here. I 100% agree with Tyrese. Shout out to Tyrese for putting this message out. I'm glad that he said it. I'm glad that he said it because it's getting to the point where it's too much antics. It's too much BS. It's too much, you know, gimmick and not enough artistry. This your brother, oh God, man. If you love, liked, liked, you know what I said, or if you love what I said, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, to help out, share the video and hit that like button. Smash that like button. You know what I mean? That definitely helps. And also, you know, um, subscribing. Subscribing and sticking around for the next video that we do is definitely going to help the channel. I hope that you guys, you know, found something useful in this. Please, you know, also, last but not least, go to our website, hiphopun.com. That's hiphop, the letter U-N, dot com. And if you want to advertise on this channel, the first 15 to 30 seconds before my videos, you can hit me at uh, advertise at hiphopun.com. That's advertise at hiphopun.com. It's your boy, Ogot, over now. Peace.